Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to talk about a great function within the data browser itself. So within the transaction SE16, SE16N or SE16H. Here right now I would like to show you this within the SE16N because here I have opened up one table, a demo table set 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 underscore test. But here right now we can see a great checkbox to maintain entries directly within the data browser with without changing attributes in the debugger and yeah for example if i execute the selection then you can directly see that you can make changes directly within the output so for example i can change this to test 2 hit the enter key save this and then i can see what has been changed one row has been changed and you also see more buttons within the toolbar. For example, you can append a row, you can insert a row, you can delete a row, and you can duplicate a row. And this is only being possible because of this checkbox to maintain entries. And I will also link the video how you can uh, change attributes and components directly within a data browser if this checkbox can't be set. For um, a purpose, I will explain in a couple of seconds. Um, yeah, but. Um, this is, I think, really, really great if, as mentioned already, we're going one step back, if the table itself allows to maintain its entries. So, for example, if I go to the uh, ABAP dictionary, so the SE11 with the forward navigation, so with double click, and then I change to switch to the delivery and maintenance tab and here you have to make sure that the data browser table view editing has been set to x so that the display maintenance is allowed for example if we would change this to uh, with restrictions um, then you can see directly the outcome so we open up the data browser once again and that the checkbox is yeah is uh, you can't set it to X you can't select the checkbox um, it's just in display it if I execute the search the selection then I think this is a more common view view for you that just see the output the values of this table and for example if um, if you change this to uh, not allowed then of course display in data browser is also not allowed I can show you this as well so here I have changed this and if I open up the data browser with the table then we can directly see that because of the setting um, the display in the standard tools is not possible so in the data browser SE17, SM30 and so on. So therefore um, I have to go to the, the about dictionary once again, go into the change mode and change it back to X. So then you are once again allowed to make changes and you can do almost exactly the same within the data browser itself so with the se16 and therefore we open up the table uh, execute the select and here you can see that you can also make changes so you can create an entry you can change an entry so for example this one um to let's check to four save the changes Execute it once again. You can see exactly the same. It kind of like uh, looks a bit um, different, and you don't have the checkbox to maintain entries. And yeah, basically, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions left, please put them in the comment section. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel to support my work and to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much, and then see you in the next video.